Honorable Member of Parliament, Volunteers Constituency, Honorable Brenda Yurenda, the Council Chairperson Volundazi, Sabone Tengo, the District Commissioner Volundazi, Madam Marjorie Banda, Councillors Volundazi, City of C, Chairperson, and your members, WDC members, Myanmar's Ward, all heads of government departments, and indeed the Council, the media, ladies and gentlemen, may I simply say all protocol observed. Our program this morning, due to language of time, we'll have to move very fast. A lot of activities lined up for all of us, and also for the guests of honor. So, after that uh, national anthem and prayer, Welcoming remarks. After that, we also have opening remarks. The welcoming remarks will be given to us by the Council Chairperson for Rundasi Town Council, Mr. Colin Tembo. And then the opening remarks will be given to us by the District Commissioner for Rundasi Constituency, Madam Marjorie Banda. And thereafter, we shall break a little bit so that we can ease ourselves and just, you know, enjoy our lives and ourselves as we are here, as we are looking at this magnificent structure today which the Lord Almighty has allowed it to come to pass today. So, at this moment, without it taking much of your time, sir, allow me now to raise the Council Chairperson for London's Town Council, Mr. Gordon Tembo, to step forward and give us his welcome remarks. Mr. Tembo, sir. Mumanja, 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 Chico, do not be a promos, please. One Zambia! One Zambia! One May I recognize the presence of the Provincial Minister for Eastern Province, the Deputy Permanent Secretary, the Provincial Local Government Officer, Your Royal Highnesses, Senior Chief Mwase, Chief Mpamba, and Chief Kapichila. I recognize the presence of the Honorable Member of Parliament for Lundazi, the District Commissioner. I recognize the presence of all councillors present, the Council Secretary, all government heads of departments, CDFC chairperson and members, WDC members from Nyamazi Ward. I recognize the presence of the ruling party and all political parties present the media, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Minister, my task is simple to welcome you. But as I do that, Honorable Minister, I would like to recognize the great works that you are doing. Honorable, this is not the first time that you are visiting Rundazi. You have been with us and you have always talked to higher authorities to make sure that the developmental agenda for Rundazi district is spearheaded. We really appreciate your great work, Honorable Minister, and we can only encourage you to please continue with your hard work. Let me also make mention, Honorable, that we understand the great things that the President has for Rundazi. And our way to the President is that we are with him. We understand his developmental agenda, and we shall make sure that we work in with him so that Runazi district is developed. It is my honor and rare privilege to welcome you all to this important occasion, particularly the commissioning and handover ceremony for the completed CDF projects in Runazi district. Honorable Minister and your your presence and participation at this function is greatly appreciated. A guest of honor and your entourage, I welcome you to this joyous and momentous occasion at which we are handing over the CDF community projects to the Rundazi community. Guest of honor and your entourage, with these few remarks and with a warm heart, may I simply say, welcome to Rundazi and feel at home. God bless you all. Thank you so much. We can only do better, 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 better. To present for Mumancha, Mumancha, Mumancha. Okay. 
Chisu, chitengati tasangala sako maso kwa ngono Pamini wa mayo watu Wa Alunda's district Who is our district commissioner and the majority Banda prepares herself to come Step forward and give us the opening remarks So I'll call on my brothers On the turn tables, something nice I would have loved something that like gospel I don't know if you have it, Josias Any gospel music here Josias I want something gospel Because my spirit is very very charged Extremely charged. Something goes forward to just, you know, allow her to come down. <laughs> That's not the gospel. Is that gospel? Okay, thank you. I don't know. This this day is my gospel, yes, yeah. Here we are. <laughs> Oh, what an awesome God we have. Awesome indeed. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Mama I know you are charged now with the spirit. But I now take this honor and privilege to call upon my mother, the disciple of Nazi. Uh, Madam Majori. Banda, as she comes, Mama and Jamani Tamasuka, let's give him a big round of applause. Maokaudi Bapati, Mumani Adelum of Picamaco, Younger Somen. Whatever moves you can eat, your loyal highnesses, senior chief master. Whatever moves you can eat, your loyal highness, chief Mbamba. Whatever moves you can eat, your loyal highness, chief Capchina. The provincial minister, Eastern Province, Honorable Peter Pili, MP. The Deputy Permanent Secretary, Eastern Province, Madam Beauty Wundi. The Provincial Local Government Officer, Eastern Province. The Member of Parliament, Lundazi Constituency, Madam Brenda Nirenda. The Council Chairperson for Lundazi, Gordon Tembo. All Councillors present. The Council Secretary, all Government Heads of Department. Most West Development Fund Committee Chairperson and Members, 
WDCs, Munyamazi what? The ruling party leadership and other official parties present. The media, ladies and gentlemen, it is my singular honor to join you, guest of honor, at this handover ceremony of commissioning of CDF projects here in Lundazi district. As a district, we are grateful and delighted with the continued commitment demonstrated by the UPNT government led by the President Mr. Hakainde Hichlema in delivering developments to the people of Lundazi through the increased and expected Consequence Development Fund and indeed the other developmental programs. The guest of honor, your loyal highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, Lundazi district is growing, especially in the area of farming, which is the main economic activities in order to sustain his growth of the district needs a number of the developmental works such as having a good road network i'm here to the fact that the local authority has a greater growth from cdf and some works have been done but our road network is vast and some roads are those listed under road development agents and are in indeed serious works Guest of honor, your loyal highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, I want to equally extend heartfelt thanks to your listening government for fulfilling the campaign promises that you would conclude the construction works on two demand bridges, Musuzi and Lundazi. I can proudly report to you, sir, that Lundazi and Musuzi Bridge are open for the use by motorists cyclists and indeed people. Though some works have been continued to be done, the opening of the bridge has made life easier to the entire district and general, grateful and delighted in the district. Allow me to further report that the national electricity grid to Rundazi will be completed soon, as we have seen increased works by the unity company ZESCO in construction, the site for the substation and the construction of 250 megawatt solar panel planted at Msuzi Rural Plant. Once this completed and done, the district will definitely gain by having constant and reliable power supplier that will be prompt a more interest and development by the business community. Guest of honor, your loyal highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, I know it is not my show, but very quickly let me also report to you, sir, that the farmers have continued to take their means to the FRA satellite depots for selling, and so far, so good, as in turn, the FRA has inquired content to pay farmers through local banks. Allow me to thank you, sir, for taking time out of your busy schedule to come and witness the handover ceremony of the community projects here in Lundazi. With these few remarks on behalf of the people of Lundazi district, indeed on my behalf, I say thank you, sir. Wish you all your time and joy of today. Thank you. for our DC madam sorry 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 media guys let's just wait that one at this juncture through consultations here and there once again guests of honor allow me humbly to call upon Lord Nancy member of parliament 
Madam Brenda Yurenda. There is a name we call her to go to You are welcome, ma'am, please. This is your show now. Secretary, the District Commissioner, PLG, Council Secretary, DAO, all the protocols, I think they have been observed. Allow me today to just appreciate what God has done for our district. Indeed, I know the the man was trying to explain who I am. This is the first time Lundazi constituency is having a female member of parliament, and we told them to say, a woman can be able to do it as well. Meaning, Ngalami Anakazi Nayushtavichi, you call. Today, I'm a very proud member of parliament. I want to appreciate the council secretary. I want to appreciate the director planning. I want to appreciate the director works. We have run this race together. The DC, you have been there checking on what is happening. The council secretary, you have been there checking on what is happening. The council chairperson, you have also been running your own race. But what I want to say today, is this opening of the schools that we have today gives me an extra pleasure. One coming from the teaching background. Me having been a teacher, I know what it is when you are teaching children outside. It is very, very painful and very sad. For this policy direction, I want to appreciate what the new dawn has done. Thank you so much. What is good is good. If your member of parliament is good, she's good. If the policy direction is good, it is good. You can't remove anything from that one. Thank you, honorable minister, for coming, my own brother, whom we are always liaising, even in the house. We work together very well with you. And what I want to say is today I'm an excited member of parliament. Honorable Minister, I want to appreciate we have Kasuku Primary School. We have Dunuzu being done right now. We have Liguizizi being done. We have Fiofio. We have Tigone here where it is so exciting. And I know my brother Mapiri must be very excited where he is. Because he wanted me to tell him that this way I'm happy with it and we want to explain to you that the local people are doing a very good work. Yes, we may not be experts, we may err here and there, but I'm so happy that the money is remaining here in Lundas. What we do not want is our money to take flight and go elsewhere. So for the local contractors, if you continue working like this, will have a better Nundansky and will be a very happy people. Honorable Minister, there are some issues that I want you to take because once you concentrate on one angle and you don't do the other angle, there can be a challenge. The issue of fertilizer is an issue and me, as a voice for the people, I want you to take this message to His Excellency. There is a challenge of fertilizer. The policy direction is not very clear. Where it is being said, no, maybe they'll start getting loans, they're asking me questions. Even yesterday I was on air, the people would want to know. I want to inform you from the onset that I am a member of parliament representing very poor people. 
in this case, I would urge the government to see how they can help us here in Mendazi by ensuring that the FISIP program is enhanced and the number of parts is increased. That's one I have to speak for my people. That is why I was given the authority to sit at National Assembly. It is my appeal to you, my brother, that let us work on the Lundazi, Chifata Road, and also proceed into Chasefu and reach up to Matumbo. When you do something good, when you do something nice, people will appreciate you. These are the things which have been lacking in our district and in our constituency. We would want you as a messenger who sits in cabinet to go and tell them that these are the news and this is the information which is coming from the member of parliament of Lundasi. Honorable members, uh uh Veneko, our wins up to us at the commission. I know, even where he's seated there, he knows that your member of parliament is a hard-working woman. I want to appreciate everything which is being done in Nundazi. Let us move together as a team. Let us be united. Let us see to it that Nundazi becomes a better place than it was. For me, I'm so excited. I can dance, I can dance, and I can dance. Thank you so much. Indeed, she deserves. <laughs> she deserves it. Momanja, momanja, momanja. Ngata one sa chimwe, momanja masaya. Thank you very much. That's our honourable member of parliament for Lundas constituency, honourable Brenda Nirenda. Wamza, mana wamza baka chita ni shachi tayi. Baka chita ni shachi. Baka mbapa the local contractors. Eh, this is good. We are here to testify on the minister and guest of honor. It was done by a lock contractor in the name of Juan Motoko Construction. Mutumbuka wa kuitu wen wen kuchase kumumanja. Mumanja, mumanja, wantua mulongi. Weka weka, chato. Not mungoto ka kuistenia, aweka weka mamele mulongi. This is what you are seeing today. And we are very proud. Mwamene wakambila kare. Aa, tukutizi kwa mwakambili. Pantao zino, kind of us, that we have some entertainment. Was my run the watching the in main market? I know you are itching to come on stage and give us some entertainment. Sangala Seko Maso, I'm going to please the program we are too. So, was my watching Tari, Golani Kunok Sogolo. Under three minutes, you can see the Chim Tari, Nifunavana and the school of Pemene Muchoka. Mulove, you give me one dance to show the excitement of the government of the day bringing you this new school. Under the enhanced and expanded CDL, 28.3 million kwacha. Today we have this wonderful structure right in front of us. So, what more to can do? Tika kuma fifty, kukumbeka kuma mbele wesu. Nga tangenako kuma fifty. Tizangala muti muzambia, kuzangala chape ni kuwa zungu. Konsi, hai? Eh, so, bachi mtali, bwedani kusogolo. Boyamba yamba CDF in that 1.6 ya bwela mu 25.7 apa 23.8 zimbeka kuti aa kusogolo tina mwa ibanga ikiresu but mchito ziwoneka tento ya mbila kumumanja wa zimaya wa chita wa mba wa mba wa tumasura school boys and girls I want you to clap louder 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 from that side louder louder clap louder there school boys and girls louder 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 thank you thank you so hey Jim Charlie. Thank you.
boys and girls, get ready there, get ready for your school dance. I also want to come out with energy. Energy, eh? Hey. Once again, you will learn where I'm at school. Be ready with your song. The school boys and girls from Chigone Day Secondary School. Be ready with your song. To give us a dance. as it were. Zimbeke Lomba mo mazavana wa school utigone secondary wene bake wafu no tuonesa ya chisangana lo chumweba inacho choke la pansi pamtima wangoma 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 indesani indesani wafu no tisabisa masaramusi we are ready for surprises this is life, life is about surprises Time, 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 time. Sangam sanga nyamata. I'm only giving you three, four, less than five minutes. Uzienda na mpam po inyo nyamata. Ah, chimbira, chimbira. Let's 
Jacob Kampula, the Dutch Town Council Secretary. Hey, hey, thank you for touching the ground, touching the ground, boy. Move on, jump, move on, jump, move on, jump, move on, jump. Wow, wow, you're a pretty amazing one. I'm serious, man. Jerry, now quickly, I'm just giving you under 40 seconds. We move on. But for now, because of language of time, I just want to allow you to do the last exit song. Hi, do me the last exit song, then we continue the program. Exit song, one moment, come on, Zero, please. It's getting better, better, nicer, nicer, nicer. Wonderful things, wonderful things here in Lundazi. All spotlights on Lundazi today. All roads lead to Lundazi. To go to the secondary school, we are here. Thank you, Honorable Minister, for coming over. We appreciate your presence at this juncture. We are Royal Highnesses, Senior Chief Mwase. Chief Mbamba, Chief Kapuchila, the provincial minister who is our guest of honor, Mr. Piri, from Malambo constituency, the deputy permanent secretary, Madam Beauty von de Piri, who is also a journalist by background and profession in the past, was director in Dollar City Council, so that's where we are coming from. So local government is very rich, sir. Mr. Boadia, very rich, now she's DPS. Provincial Government Officer, Mr. Alex Walia. The Honorable Member of Parliament, Madam Brenda Yurenda. The Council Chairperson, Mr. Gordon Tembo. The District Commissioner, Madam Marjorie Banda. Councillors from Lundazi Town Council. CDFC Chairperson and your members. WC members from Yamazi Ward. All heads of government departments. And indeed the Council entire team leadership led by the Dr. Mfula Mwansa. And indeed, the media, ladies and gentlemen, I simply say all oh, protocol observed at this juncture. May we now proceed with the program as I now take this real privilege and honor to now raise the District Commissioner for Lundazi, Madam Marjorie Banda, because my jacket is already getting smaller now, so that you raise the Deputy Permanent Secretary, Madam Beauty Wundibiri, who will now give us a few remarks, after which she will now raise the Honorable Minister, who is our guest of honor, Madam D.C. A big hand as she's coming forward, please. A big hand, big hand. At this juncture, I will raise the deputy uh, PS to raise the minister. Thank you. that there was a conspiracy by the members to bring a huge win here so that we, our skates can go on our heads. <laughs> but unfortunately, the members have failed because the Tumukas have prevailed. Amen. Your Royal Highness Senior Chief Mwase, Chief Mpamba, and Chief Kapichila, 
the provincial minister who is also a member of parliament for Malambo constituency, Honorable Peter Simon Piri. The provincial local government officer, Eastern Province, Mr. Alex Wadia, the founder of the WIND. I recognize the Honorable Member of Parliament for Lundazi constituency, comrade, sister of mine, Honorable Brenda Nirenda. I recognize the presence of our district commissioner, Marjorie Banda. Recognize you, ma'am. The council chairperson for Lunazi Town Council, all councillors present here today. The council secretary, all government heads of departments, constituency development fund committee chairpersons and members, WDC members, Nyamazi Ward, the ruling UPND leadership that is here led by the district chairperson, Mr. Blessings Banda, our very able IPS Mabi. I recognize you. I recognize our women who are looking very good in red there. Recognize you, the red family. Recognize the media, ladies and gentlemen. Honorable Minister, allow me to say the member of parliament was saying Zakwa Kachita Wachita, right? One of our Kachita Wachita. What's the member of parliament for God? Wachita Bari Wachita Zola. She forgot to say the president has done it. Our president, Akaide Ichilema, has done it this year. Today, it's visible, honorable ministers, you are coming to officiate that the increase in CDF, today we are celebrating. We recognize our president, sir. We recognize you also, the member of parliament, for the good job, the lioness has spoken. Honorable Minister, this is not my show. Mine is to just raise you to come and give your inaugural speech to the people. Honorable Minister, sir. kindly take our seats. Thank you very much. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, sorry, ladies and gentlemen that are gathered here today. Good morning, good afternoon. I'm using two things because we did not greet each other in the morning. So it's good morning and afternoon. Your Royal Highness, Your Royal Highnesses, Senior Chief Mwase, Chief Mpamba, and Chief Kapichira, who are present here today. The Deputy Permanent Secretary, Madam Beauty, Undi Piri, who is also my sister. I recognize you, madam. The provincial local government officer, I recognize you, my Mbuya. From here, you need to brush my shoes when I, once I take my seat. May I also recognize my able member of parliament, Polunazi, Madam Brenda Nirenda, I'm proud of you. The Council Chairperson for Lunazi, I recognize you, sir. I'm humbled. My Echo District Commissioner for Lunazi, Madam Marjorie Banda, I recognize you too. The Council Secretary, who is also in the line of uh, the PLO GO, I recognize you, and you gave us a very brief dance 
But I request as I take my seat, I need a long one. <laughs> May I also recognize all the councillors that are here. We are proud of you. You have made us proud because of what we are seeing here today as a team in Inundazi. All government heads of departments that have gathered here, you are doing a brilliant job here in Irundazi. We are seeing the fruits. We recognize you. The CDF chairperson and all the members that sit on that CDF, that includes the member of parliament and the team, you are doing a very commendable job because I've seen almost 18 projects that are taking off here in Irundazi. We are proud of you and continue with the same spirit. May I also recognize the WDC members, you are the key persons in here because you are the ones that initiate these projects before they even come to the CDF committee for their approval. You are doing a very good job without any payment. We salute you, but we are still thinking around that area so that you are also appreciated for the good work that you are doing. We recognize you. May I also recognize the provincial senior party officials who are present here, particularly Mr. Mapili, our able IPS who is here, whom I also recognize as one of the contractors that have done wonders in Irundazi, sir, we recognize you. May I also recognize all the ruling party members that are here and all other political parties that are here, we recognize you. May I also recognize all church leaders that are present here. We know the church takes a very important role to unite this country and preserve the peace that we have up to now from 1964. We recognize you. May I also recognize the media houses that are here. You are the key individuals in this CDF because people need to know what is happening on the ground. Without you people, we can't, our people will not know what is happening. We recognize you and thank you. May I also recognize the school children that have come today to witness the commissioning of this beautiful structure here in Irundazi. I know you are proud and happy that now you will take position of this wonderful block that has been built by the local contractors. Local contractor, oh yeah! No foreign contractors in Irundazi, we say no. Abash foreign contractors. We want this CDF to remain here in Irundazi. The fact remains that each constituency has got its own CDF. So we don't want to import contractors into this area. We recognize you. May I simply say, Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon once more. It is indeed my rare honor and privilege to be here with you today as we celebrate the handing over of various community projects to the people of Lundazi District. Allow me to show gratitude to the government of the Republic of Zambia, particularly to His Excellency, Mr. Akain the Hitchlema, on the political will, demonstrated to deliver the promised development to the people of Lundazi and indeed the Zambian people. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, the government of the Republic of Zambia has prioritized decentralization as a major driver for attaining development, reducing poverty, and supporting job creation through citizen engagement and the participation at the local level. This has been demonstrated by the increase in the amount of CDF from 1.6 million kwacha then to 25.7 million in 2021 and now 28.3 million per constituency in 2023 and we hope in future the president may increase it to a further amount. The expanded scope of CDF works, three space areas, namely 
community project which is pegged at 60 percent which includes 5 percent disaster contingency youth and women community empowerment which is 20 percent and is shared as follows 40 percent is for grants and 60 percent is for soft loans and secondary school boarding and skills development bursaries is stands at 20 percent your royal highnesses ladies and gentlemen we are gathered here today to witness the commissioning of the skip loader track and five skip bins at the tune of 1.68 million kwacha the mortuary unit at the tune of 549,000 kwacha the Toyota Land Cruiser CDF mortuary vehicle at the tune of 1.2 million kwacha eight one by three classroom blocks at a combined total of four million 476,000 kwacha, among which includes Kapichila, Makaka, Kasuku, Kapiri, Mutawanjo, and Katamsala Primary Schools, Mpamba and Chigone Secondary Schools. Other projects include Matembe and Chidenza Health Post at the tune of 667,000 kwacha combined. Rehabilitation of Lukizizi Health Post at the tune of 52,850. Gumbiwe Police Post at the tune of 339,000 kwacha. Kapodo Bridge at the tune of 357,000 kwacha. Rehabilitation of 350 desks and one staff house at Malawila Primary School, all of which is valued at 9,591,000 kwacha. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, you may also wish to know that 400 new desks were procured and handed over last year under the 2022 CDF, another 1,136 desks are planned to be procured under the 2023 CDF in line with the presidential directive that no people should sit on the floor by the end of 2024. We have reviewed this matter. We have seen the pressure on CDF. Hence, we have extended to 2024 so that no child sits on the floor by 2024. We know if we say all desks are procured within 2023, then we are going to people other developmental projects that are supposed to be done. Hence, it has been amended. Indeed, all these projects and equipment have been purchased and developed under the constituency development fund allocation for the year 2021 and 2022. Now, this is the time for the people of Lundazi district to reap the benefits from the increased CDF funding. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, you may wish to know that as a district, we have dispersed the 2022 constituency development fund under empowerment grants component to 117 cooperatives and clubs amounting to 1.9 million sorry amounting to 1.93 million kwacha we have also paid out the 2022 cdf loans to 36 beneficiaries totaling to 2.934 million kwacha and further 103 grant application and 30 loan application at a total cost of 5 million 287 under 2023 CDF approved to benefit in a few weeks time. Apart from offering free education 
The new Don government has sponsored 216 secondary boarding and skills development bursary students under 2022 CDF and another 274 under 2023 CDF in Irundazi districts. I wish to thank the Constituency Development Fund Committee, Lundazi Town Council, the area member of parliament, the district commissioner, ward councillors, ward development committees, for your effort and commitment towards the development agenda for Lundazi. Furthermore, I wish to thank the traditional leadership for all manner of support that was rendered from the genesis of what has made us gather here today. Your Royal Highnesses, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the increase in the Constituency Development Fund provides an opportunity for us to effectively save our communities and subsequently take Lundazi District to greater heights. President Hakainde Ichilema has declared the year 2023 as the year of action, and this is one of the actions that you are seeing under CDF. In line with the same, Lundazi districts through the Constituency Development Fund will ensure that more projects are completed and handed over to government in the years to come. In order to ensure that service delivery is brought, is brought closer to the people of Lundazi. This, however, can only be achieved if we continue on the same path of unity and love for the district above our personal interests. Your Royal Highnesses, ladies and gentlemen, may I also urge the community of Lundazi district to continue making keen interest in the affairs of the district and to take advantage of the various opportunities and funding from CDF. In order for us to see the development we hope and desire to see without leaving anyone behind. As I conclude, allow me to echo on some of the issues that my able member of parliament raised in terms of our road network in Irundazi, Chasefu and Chama. I think I'm one of the people that does not sleep because I always drive on this road to Lundazi. It's not my first time. And you can imagine if this road is left like that, unattended to, and the rains come, I think Lundazi people will be cut off. And we are not going to sit idle and sit our, our road be in that state. We are pushing hard. You've seen, for those that have been going to Chama, there are some roadways that are happening now. We have our challenges in terms of electricity. You are aware now that Zesco are on site. They've started construction of the substation such that Lundazi and Chama can be connected to the national grid. We have been dependent on Malawi power, which at some point has disappointed us, and we've lost lives because of road shedding in most instances. Now, as I conclude, I wish to also urge the people of Lundazi district to take care of this infrastructure and equipment as they belong to all of us, not to the MP, not to the DC, not to the council. These are our properties. We need to take keen interest. When you see the council abusing this skip loader, do not hesitate to report. Do not hesitate to report them. This has come to keep Lundazi clean. Yes. This is a milestone that you have scored here in Lundazi. Please let's take it in train. This CDF vehicle we are seeing here is basically to monitor the projects around the district, not to be found where Mabwaria comes from. Because I know Mr. Mabwaria needs the CAC.
this vehicle will be basically parked now at the constituency office because MPs were deprived of using these vehicles. They are part of the development. So we'll be seeing these vehicles back at the constituency office for the MPs to do monitoring and the chance of getting. May I also, before I take my seat, also talk about the fiscal issue. I think the policy direction by the member of parliament to bear witness to me when the honorable member of parliament for Chipata Central, who is the agriculture minister, stood on that floor of the house. He did mention that we are not going to cancel this day. We are not going to take away PC. But the other thing that this ministry is trying to introduce are loan schemes like we used to do in the Kaunda time, where teachers, tax workers, and all of us as members of parliament can go to and get loans because civil servants have no access to PC, but they are farmers. And where do they get the fertilizer if they are? They are not given the capacity to do that. So there is an introduction of another pack which will come very soon. That for those that are not benefiting from FISIP, they will be able to benefit from this. They will be soft loans. Don't think that they will be very expensive. They will supplement to the FISIP which is taking place now. The mission of FISIP will not see the eye. You put it in the eye, you put it in the eye, you put it in and my government has taken keen interest that this fertilizer should come before the onset of rain. And Muzi Wainamba Kari Glova Muruti compound Murundazi. So very soon, Bamene Mali Pafisi, Tenti Akanisi which is the right people, I think members of parliament were given the right to get information from the Dakos and Pakos to see the right people are receiving this fertilizer. Because we have seen in the past this fertilizer was not going to the right people. Business people were abusing our people. And in the end, they were getting the fertilizer, and we used to think the FISIP was not enough. But we have taken keen interest, and we are going to that safer. We want to go to the poor, the most vulnerable people, that are farmers, that feed this nation. Not the commercial farmers, they don't feed this nation. You poor farmers are the ones who are many of Zambia. Yeah, yeah. You are the only people that take the maize to the FRA uh, depots where you sell. A commercial farmer cannot go there. They export their maize. Yeah. So we've taken keen interest to empower you through FISIP and those soft loans that are on your way. As I close now, May I simply say, God bless us all as we now move to commissioning of one of the best schools that I've seen here. I, my dear, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. I'm glad to see such a project from our local contractors, whom the people said they can't do it. No. We want our contractors to continue running this show. With those few remarks, I thank you. Let's do this. I want you to put your hands together. Let's do this.